17, Matthew 19, 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. So Jesus Christ said unto the young man, before he tells him the answer to his question, he says, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. So we shouldn't be praising man as if he's the most high. We, we, we shouldn't be just listening to anything men, men have to say. We should be following the words of Jesus Christ. The most high. Jesus. The most high. The most high through Jesus Christ. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So Jesus says, if we're going to enter into life, we have to keep the commandments. So the commandments are not done away with. Jesus didn't do away with the commandments. He, he established the commandments. So he said, if we, want, if we want to obtain eternal life, we have to keep the commandments. Verse 98, this is Matthew 19, 18. He saith unto him which, Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. So the young man asked, which of the commandments should we do? And Jesus Christ started going into it. Thou shalt do no murder. So we're not to hate our brother in our heart. So to the point where it gets, well, hatred of our brother is murder. That's it. it says that in Matthew 5, verse 17. Yeah, Matthew 5, verse 21. And the, the law that Christ brought out, thou shalt do no murder, it was given to us on in Mount Sinai, spoken to us by the word of by the Most High. And he, he told us in that time that he that we should do that we should not kill. Matthew 5 and verse 21. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill. So, this is Jesus Christ again speaking, and he says, We've heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill. So, way back um, during the time of Moses, we were given the commandment, We should not kill. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment, meaning... The, the judgment for uh, murdering your brother is death, according to Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus 21 and 12, I believe. Uh, Exodus. Exodus 21 and 12. Verse uh, Matthew 5, 22. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. So a man who is angry with his brother without a cause, so... Whatever reason there may be, if you're angry with your brother without a cause, you, you're going to be in, in danger of that same judgment to be judged as a murderer. So, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 15. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. So a man who hates his brother is a murderer. So a man who hates his brother will be judged as a murderer. And no murderer has life abiding in him. So the judgment for murder is death. And that's that's the that's the judgment that that man can look forward to if he continues to hate his brother in his heart. So this is Leviticus 19.17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we're not to hate our brother in our heart. Okay, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So when that, when that lust comes on to us to, to hate our brother in our heart, we're supposed to we're supposed to endure that temptation to hate our brother, and we're supposed to rebuke our brother, correct him for for the wrong that he did to us. Out of the scriptures, we're supposed to show him the wrong that he did to us, and out of the scriptures, and not suffer sin upon him, and not suffer sin upon our brother. So, if we were to let that hatred grow inside of us, and we were supposed to let our brother continue in his sin, 
that would that would be suffering sin upon our brother. Okay. Matthew's 19, I mean Leviticus 19, 18. Thou shalt not avenge. So we're not to avenge, we're not to try to get back or retaliate at our brother for a sin that he committed against us. That's what you got in the game. Acts of yeah, that's that's what you see in gangs. You see, you see br brothers trying to get back at other brothers for uh, a wrong that they did to them, and there's never any correction, none, never any rebuke. So this the sin just keeps perpetuating itself, and it never gets dealt with. Nor bear nor bear any grudge against the children of that people. No. So we're not to bear a grudge against the children of our people if. Our brother does wrong against us. We're supposed to correct him as soon as soon as possible that day, so that the the sin doesn't grow in our, our the hatred doesn't grow in our heart, and the the brother doesn't con keep continuing in that sin. It says, um, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. So we're supposed to love our, our brother as our, as we love ourselves. So that that means if we wouldn't want to keep sinning or keep continuing in a sin that we commit and not know that we did something wrong, we will want to be corrected. So just as we will want to be corrected, we should correct our brother and not not harbor hatred against him. Because we wouldn't we wouldn't want other people har harboring hatred against us. So this is Ephesians 4.26 that we'll go to next. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So if our brother does wrong to us, it's understandable that we'll, we'll get angry at him. But we're not supposed to sin. We're not supposed to... We're not supposed to keep that anger in us. It says, Don't let, the sun wrath go down. let not the sun go down upon your wrath, meaning correct him that day. Get the, get the, um, let the brother know what he did wrong against you so, so that he, he won't do that sin to other, to other brothers and, um, the sin won't be suffered upon him. And if if you don't do that, you'll you'll grudge and you'll you'll uh, you'll you'll want to take vengeance against your brother. Neither give place to the devil. So it says neither give place to the devil, meaning don't don't give into that sin of or don't give into that that temptation to just harbor that hatred and not correct your brother, because that will be giving place to the devil. So that was it. All praises to the Most High in the name of Christ that we were able to come out here today and get the word out to our people. Shalom.